we're looking kind of spooky here because today we are celebrating Halloween by making treats from both the past and the present. Hi everyone, my name is Bethany Herway and this is Making It Modern, a show where I recreate a vintage recipe and then use it as inspiration to make a new dish that's better suited to the modern palate. As I was surfing the internet, I came across this fabulous Halloween party magazine spread from the 1950s. Though all the treats look intriguing, I decided to go with the popcorn balls, mainly because not only have I never made them before, I've never even tried them before now. My mother never made them, and when I was growing up, we had to throw away any handmade treats we received while trick-or-treating. Well, it turns out making the popcorn balls was a complete disaster. Besides the fact I burnt the first batch so badly I had to throw away the pot, I hated standing at the stove constantly having to stir the sugar mixture. And don't even get me started on cleanup. But this show is all about trying vintage recipes no matter how difficult or disgusting they are. So I'm gonna show you how you too can be tortured by making old fashioned popcorn balls at home. Start by popping your popcorn. This recipe calls for 10 cups, so I cheated and bought my popcorn in a bag. Next, you're gonna make the caramel. In a pot, stir together one cup firmly packed brown sugar, three quarters of a cup white corn syrup, one and a half teaspoon vinegar, I used apple cider vinegar, and half a teaspoon salt. Let the sugar dissolve over a low flame. Continue to cook, carefully adding heat as need be until it reaches 280 degrees. This is a very hard and fast boil. I highly recommend a candy thermometer. Once the mixture has come up to temperature, carefully stir in half a cup of condensed milk and bring it back up to 280 degrees, stirring the entire time. This took what felt like forever, and my arm was killing me from stirring the entire time. This is also when I burnt my first batch, so please be careful. Once the mixture reaches 280 degrees, quickly and carefully pour the mixture over the popcorn and stir using two wooden spoons. This stuff is molten hot and very dangerous, so please keep the kids away. When the popcorn is cool enough to handle, cover your hands with butter and smush it into balls. The amount of time between when it was cool enough to touch, but before it got too cool to form balls, felt like about four seconds, so work quickly. Let the old-fashioned popcorn balls cool completely before serving. Though I didn't enjoy making the popcorn balls, I did enjoy eating them. I mean, who doesn't love the flavors of the creamy toasted sugar combined with the salty, crunchy popcorn? But as a busy mom, I just don't have the time to create something so dangerous and time consuming. In order to make it modern, I decided to use the idea of flavored popcorn, but with a really cool Halloween twist. Using just a few simple ingredients, I figured out how to make these really slimy zombie brains, which were way easier to make, tasted just as good, and cleanup was a breeze. Begin by measuring out about eight cups of popcorn into a bowl. Next, in a pot, dissolve half a bag of the six ounce lime jello, along with one third cup corn syrup and one stick of butter over low heat. Once the jello is dissolved, carefully pour over the popcorn and mix to combine. Spread over a cookie sheet covered in parchment and then sprinkle some candy eyeballs of various sizes. Cool for a few minutes in the freezer or store for later in the fridge. My kids loved the sweet and sour tang of the lime jello combined with a crunchy popcorn. Plus they thought the gross out factor of the sticky green goo was hilarious. Even though the old fashioned popcorn balls were a bust, I had a great time making the zombie brains with my kids. And that's how I make it modern. Happy Halloween.